five things that I wish I knew when I was pregnant. The number one thing, I wish someone told me that you need to do a loofah every single day and then hydrate your skin every single day after every bath. You see what the humble loofah does, and this is just a plastic thing, you can even use the dried up old tori, is that it helps exfoliate all the skin on your body. And when you're doing that, it makes sure that your skin cell turnover is fresh and that there's always a good surface for hydration and absorbing the next product that you're going to put. You can put an oil after that, you know, sesame oil, till oil, coconut oil, whatever oil works for, your, for you in your part of the country. But it's very important to use something which has got nice fatty acids. My favorite um, nowadays is the Advanced Repair Vaseline uh, Body Lotion. It's fantastic and it's great for barrier repair complex. So maybe you could use this all over your body if you're pregnant today because it's going to give you massive advantage. Now, that doesn't mean don't use the oil. Use the oil and after your bath, go in with the Vaseline Body Lotion. Using the loofah every day along with using a good massage oil, whatever your oil is, make sure that also you don't get too much of stretch marks on your belly area. You see stretch marks are basically because of the breakdown of collagen and elastin fibers. And when the area is nicely hydrated, your skin is able to go to that extra stretch without cracking too much. And that's what we want. The more hydrated and moisturized your belly area is going to be, the less prone you're going to be for stretch marks. Second thing I wish someone had told me was that you are going to get pigmentation. That's only because of so much of hormonal activity in your body. And so you will tend to get pigmentation here. It is called the pregnancy mask also. A good thing to do is of course use a sunscreen and make sure it is certified. I have a video on it. Make sure you check it, link in the description. Along with sunscreen, you can also use vitamin C. Vitamin C will make sure there's protection against UV light. And if there is a little bit of pigmentation coming, there's a good amount of fading happening at the same time. I didn't know that, so I did get a pregnancy mask when I had my first daughter. The third thing I wish someone had told me was that you might also get a few pimples here and there. A good thing to do for your acne when you get pregnant is to revert to tea tree oil, it's very safe and definitely use garlic. I have a video on it, link in the description. These two things are very antibacterial, they control the spiral bacteria and also help in preventing the pimple from getting bigger and getting more pus into it. A lot of the products you can't use, especially retinoids and some of the HABHS you can't use when you're pregnant, so these two things work really really well. The fourth thing I wish someone had told me was to massage the nipples around the fourth or fifth month right down to when your baby is born. And this is something which practically no one talks about and no one tells you. You see, massaging the nipple area with a good emollient, you could use uh, even regular ghee, you can use a good almond oil, you can use jojoba oil, even mustard oil, just anything that's rich in fatty acids. When you're massaging the nipple, it actually makes it softer and supple. The more supple your nipple area is, the more uh, softer it is, the easier it is for you to go through the horrific days of breastfeeding, right? Ouch! You can literally feel the pain even today. So prepping your nipples well in advance with a good massage during your bath will make sure that there is not so much of cracks in the nipple and therefore less leading and therefore more pleasant introduction to breastfeeding. The last thing I wish someone had told me was your bra size is going to change or at least the shape of your bra is going to change once you're through with your pregnancy and your child is stopped breastfeeding. The reason for that is that now with all the stretching and holding all the milk, the shape of the breast completely changes. From it being round, it tends to flab out on the side. So at this point, it's good to use a bra which will give you the side support. And this side support helps give you a nice shape when you're wearing dresses or when you're wearing tops or shirts because then your breast doesn't flay out on the side but are in fact beautifully controlled and look nice and happy. The last thing is also to make sure that you know if you have put on some weight, it's good to get some kind of support at the back as well so that there are no rolls formed. And Marks and Spencers, I think, have some of the best supporting bras especially when you're post the nursing and you're looking for getting back into shape let me know some of the things you wish you knew when you were going through pregnancy and had a child it's so interesting to get a perspective post hindsight always 20 on 20. till then don't forget your green juice